What is up, everyone? This is going to be my patch 14.21 jungle tier list where we're going to go over everything you need to know about the jungle rule in League of Legends. So for starters, this, this itself is the jungle tier list. And first, we're going to do something is we're going to mix in the patch notes as we go over this. So overall, the jungle patch notes, there's some bounty changes don't really impact jungle all that much. Pretty much remove the Inting Scion. So thank God we don't have Inting Scion on our games. Any more objective bounty stuff isn't really a big deal. And we have a bunch of changes overall for mid jungle brand. Pretty much dead completely. Don't want to be playing jungle van. A bunch of soul lane changes. Elise nerf. So Elise nerf, realistically, this armor nerf really didn't impact her at all. Elise is still S tier. Perfectly fine. But there is a change later on that really did impact her. And that's something we're going to go over in a second. Fiddle nerfs. I was talking about AP junglers were broken and big reason for it was actually Sork Boots. Fiddle was someone who was getting away with not being nerfed because of Leandries and, oh, you know, Faded Ashes. So he got away with it for a while. So this nerf is actually quite something, but overall he's still real relatively okay. If you play Fiddle, you want for, you know, one trick Fiddle, he's still pretty good. And overall, the changes are relatively, you know, weak changes. Jungle Karth is still extremely strong. But a big thing that I want to talk touch on are actually the item changes that we have down the list where we have Sork Boots being changed. These two item changes are big for jungle. First of all, Sork Boots, huge item spike. This one right here affected a lot of the AP junglers, majority of junglers. 12 to 15 was actually a big jump. But it doesn't make it terrible if you're AP jungler. You're still going to want Sork Boots a lot of the time. But it does impact your first buy on Sork Boots. So a lot of AP junglers are going to feel the nerf of the damage because it wasn't even damage to champion. This change actually affected your damage to your jungle camps because jungle camps have magic resist. So your clear speed is actually slower because of this nerf. So that's an impact. Blade of the Rune King also affects some junglers who are going Blade of the Rune King. It is much weaker because of the percent health damage. So these two changes are really big on item. And right away you can see that at least, you know, some other aping junglers have really dropped off because of those changes. And here we're going to go into something is we're going to talk about the S plus category right now. So S plus category, we have very strong junglers. We have Graves right here. And Graves is probably a surprise to the two of you for a lot of people to see him such a high category. And big reason for that is actually two items that are making Graves OP. One of them is the collector item that actually is very broken on Graves right now. Another one is Ghostblade. So you have C for collector and then you have Ghostblade. So you have these two items and together there are extremely broken item spikes. So total gold is way cheaper to build collector compared to before before it was like something insane but now it's pretty much like barely three thousand gold to get collector if not it's 2950 plus ghost blade is 2800 so you have this plus ghost blade for a very it's been a while since i wrote on my my thing for a very cheap spike so total you're pretty much getting a huge two item spike and for graves you have your item spike which is extremely broken at around 5,800 gold, you're pretty much online completely. And that's very cheap. And you become a god on this two item spike. And for Graves, Ghostblade, really nice. Collector, he controls the game and he's very broken on this spike. And he's abusing it with Ghostblade not getting nerfed next patch. I actually, I think it's getting buffed too. It's going to be a big problem for Graves. And I think this is a highlight of why he's OP. People are confused. You know, whenever champions kind of randomly appear in the meta, but there's always reasons behind it. It, it. it really isn't random. It's just from item changes on previous patches that kind of add up. And a big thing is always understanding that item spikes are important. This compared to someone like, you know, let's say someone who's trying to build a much more expensive build, you end up on an item spike that is, you know, maybe even this expensive. Like an 80 carry needs this much gold to be the equivalent power of this person, right? So it's relatively a thousand more gold to equal strength. And that's a huge thing because the game as a jungler is all about that two item spike. That's really where your strongest impact after two item, you fall off as a jungler. So it's really important. And that's where Graves really shines. I just want to highlight that for all of you to understand Graves is currently the king of the jungle. Udyr, this dirty little rat, 
abusing the item we've been talking about a lot, Lee Andrews. Lee Andrews on previous patches have been nerfed because of the damage, also Fate of Ashes slightly, but because Udyr is just very broken, tank junglers are very strong, he's back and being broken again. I don't know why they don't go harder on Faded Ashes. These AP junglers shouldn't have such a strong, you know, one item spike that gives them really insane clearing advantage that shouldn't be there, but it is what it is. So hopefully he's not going to be as strong in the future. We'll see some item nerfs to that. Zach is relatively in the same boat. Zach generally has a very weak early game. So you would expect Zach to struggle more with you know void grubs being important objective but he's really not that weak early right now and junglers aren't really good at punishing other junglers with the way it works you know it's so easy to just stay the same level as the other jungler if you just farm your camps if i invade you and put you down so much early you're going to be one to maybe even two levels max behind me which isn't impactful so these junglers can just easily come out in the woodlock and just carry from their item spec. So Zach, super good AP tank jungler. That is performing very well. And also looking at the the, the patch, there are some S tier junglers that have been removed from the game. Bully Bear, this nerf is honestly more directed towards top lane because of the build I've shown you. Roa, Navori, I've created too much power in your hands. It is a broken build. It's too strong, especially lower ranks. This nerf does affect jungle a lot. It does slow his clear. It does affect him because a lot of times you're really not getting this item. So his reign of terror has been removed. Armor growth, same thing with the least. Really didn't affect Vigo that much. So this change here was pretty irrelevant. One more thing, Talon. These changes are actually very good for Talon. I think Talon jungle is actually quite strong, especially with Ghostblade buffs coming next patch. I think Talon jungle for assassins will be surprisingly very broken. So... Going back on the tier list, what we have here, oops, is we have a few things that are very good. We have S tier junglers like Kha'Zix, who's, you know, getting stronger with every patch. Other junglers are getting nerfed. We're seeing a lot of rise and fall of champions based off what's happening with the item balance system. They're trying to balance a lot of items that are taking a lot longer than we expected. But Ghostblade buffs are going to make Kha'Zix a very beautiful highlight champion. Karthus, the nurse didn't really affect him. He's getting away with farming for free. And I wouldn't be surprised to see another nerf for him in the future. Same thing with Vago. He really is didn't get nerfed hard enough with the Blade of the Ring changes. So hopefully in the future, they find better ways to balance him. That makes them more human to play against scarner disgusting champion our worlds kidnaps you and your children disgusting should be locked up in jail hopefully never see him again nocturne so i have a video coming up nocturne very broke right now lethal temple i think is very good on him especially with the buffs to attack speed it's a very good champion i think he's really good in this meta with the stride breaker build and he's just a very good in this he didn't rely heavily on bursting people. He's good in situations where he can fight for longer, especially with Lethal Temple coming back. I do like Nocturne a lot right now. Same thing with Elise. I still think Elise is super good. Obviously, if you play Elise the first time, you're not going to do a good job because she's relatively hard mechanically, and there's a lot of things you have to know about her. But overall, Elise, very good still, and I like her a lot. A category, generally, we just have good champions that are doing really well one thing you notice is talent i do think talent surprisingly rising up in my ranks i think is a very strong one that i think will have a very good time playing second we're going to highlight is lilia even though she's been nerfed so many times she still somehow stays in the meta and the sork boots nerf did lower her win rate slightly, but she's still an extremely good champion. Diana, I think, is going to get stronger as other things are getting nerfed. I think Nasher's Tooth is just really bad right now. But I think in the future, I think Diana is going to go up a lot in the tier list as they start to balance and change a few things in you know, the game right now. So Diana is going to go up for sure. B tier, we have the infamous Nunu. Nunu also... He does build Leandries, but he never got nerfed because of it. So he's still in a solid position because he would never really got attention for being one of the Faded Ashes abusers. So 
Nunu snowball your way to victory. He's still playable in the current state. And Kindred. It, she's in a weird spot because 80 carry items are constantly getting nerfed and changed. She just indirectly is getting nerfed because of that Kraken Slayer abuser. Kraken Slayer gets nerfed pretty hard, affects her dramatically. Unfortunately, she's always going to be tied to these champions. But there has been a rise of a more of a tankier Triforce build that I think is very good on Kindred for people to you know, you know, keep trying out as well. C tier, Gwen unfortunately got nerfed hard because of top lane Gwen. She was doing really well. Her passive, which you honestly rely heavily on to clear jungle camps, got nerfed. So that slowed down her clear a lot, which really hurt her in the meta. Rengar, disgusting champion in a bad way. He's really bad right now. People might cope and say, you know, bad Rengars are lowering the win rate. Not really, even one tricks aren't doing well on him. He's probably the last one to get really attention for buffs as an assassin. He's just extremely bad, very poor, and hopefully, you know, they give him a, some attention. Hopefully, they lean him towards more Bruiser because I think Rengar could be a really cool Bruiser champion to play. Silas, if his clear was better, he'd be picked all the time. Unfortunately, his clear is kind of hampered by his ability cooldowns being very long, but I really do enjoy, you know, playing Silas Jungle. Amumu did get nerfed because of the Leandries, because, because of Faded Ashes. He unfortunately gets nerfed because of that, but... He's still an okay pick, especially lower ranks. I think he's very strong. D tier, honestly, these champions are just not good right now. Trundle, for example, has just never been good all year round. He's not a good pick, even though you would say he's good into like, you know, certain jungle champs. He's not good in the game, so you don't want to be playing Trundle at all. Champs like Sejuani is getting nerfed too hard because of pro player. You end up falling in a trap where, you know, Sejuani is just a really bad champion for you in solo queue because of worlds, because of you know, professional play. You don't want to be playing a champion that is tied so heavily towards professional play because they will always make your champion garbage in solo queue. So avoid champions like that, especially champs like Sejuani. And yeah, overall, this is going to be my jungle tier list. Well, I'll make a better, more informed one next time. Hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to like, follow if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck in the game. Good luck on the climb. I'll probably be back to playing League more consistently now with you know, some of the future changes going to be coming up in the next year. So see you guys then. Hopefully you guys climb very hard in the last split. And yeah, good luck in the games and good luck on the climb.